Well, I have a couple of ST Mauis here. Uh, this one looks like it's going to be, I think, at the perfect level of ripeness. We really don't have much experience with ST Maui because this is the first year that we have had fruit. Uh, this one looks like it's overripe, but I will see what each one tastes like. Start with the overripe one. Oh my! <laughs> it, uh, I don't know if this one had a fall or what, but uh, yeah, it definitely has uh, bruising in the middle, so I'll try for the other side, see if we have uh, like regular flesh on this other side of the fruit. Pretty much yes. Uh, that looks like it could be just the normal ripening, different color there for that. Huge difference between the two slices. So I'm going to just cast that one aside. I am not interested in tasting that. Har would be tasting it if he were here, though. And uh, see what this one tastes like. It's a very nice fruit. It, it does remind me a lot of Jakarta, though. The texture is different from Jakarta. It's a softer flesh. And it seems like there's a few other flavors in there, too. Definitely an Indian type mango. And that was from the the fallen fruit that uh, seemed to be overripe. So let's taste the the other fruit. This one's pretty firm, so it's possible that it could be a little bit underripe. still has uh, like a little difference of color in the in the skin from the uh, near the or has a little difference in color of this piece near the skin is um, more solid and then um, it's darker and looks like possibly not as firm closer to the seed but huge difference between those two This is also very nice. S slightly more tart than the, um, the slice from the good side of the fallen ST Maui. Really nice consistency though. Yeah, it's very refreshing. Nice flavor. So I got to taste another slice of each of these fruit. This is the, the less ripe one, still a little touch of green on the skin. Definitely just melts in your mouth. And of course, near the skin, you get more flavors. There's a little bit of tartness to this one. I mean, you know, a little bit more than the, the one that we thought was overripe. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice mango. It's uh, got a lot of fruity flavors in it. And the one that's more ripe, not surprisingly, is more sweet. Yeah, just it's it, the more ripe one is sort of a smoother flavor 
uh, both are very good and the you know the richness of the flavors come through in in both of the uh, levels of ripeness we tasted some uh, early esti maui uh, the first ones off the tree and i suppose not surprisingly they were not as good as these right here but yeah at both levels of ripeness i like this fruit a lot Smells really good. Orange, pineapple. This is a hit right here. This is a keeper. Gotta keep this one. Amazing. Orange, pina colada almost. That's a uh, ST Maui. That ST Maui? Mm -hmm. That is. Phenomenal, right there. That might be the best flame mango I've had so far. St. Maui, holy cow! That reminded me of a tropical, tropical sprite. This is a very nice mango too. This is a very nice mango, Chris. Where else can I go, could I really get mangoes like this? It's only one place I could really, you really want to explore mangoes. Right, right. You have to go truly tropical. So, can you describe the the flavor or the texture? Or yeah, the texture is good. I like it. It's it has still a, another nice smooth flavor. And it's, it's, it lifts up to your taste. It has a, that tangy taste inside of it, just like the one previous. It's not f deviate farther than the, the one before. It's like they're running neck and neck here. A little bit of aroma. Another one with a very spicy, sweet tart flavor. Extra juicy. I do not, <clears throat> do not recognize it. Skin's okay. Okay, here we go. Mmm, mmm. This tastes like a melon. This is delicious. It's like a, a mango cantaloupe or something. This is really unique. It's really sweet. It's really juicy, fiberless. It tastes like a melon. There's something melon quality about it. I really like it. So I can't say that it tastes like anything else. I really like it. It's very unique. I'm really, oh, it's juicy. I'm really interested in finding out who its parents are. We don't know that. We don't but here's know that. another in case you want to. Just to make sure. Do you think it tastes like melon? Yeah, it's really good. And it's really pretty. It just doesn't taste like anything 
another mango that I can remember, but I do like it. I would definitely recommend trying it. This is a mango I could eat with different things, but I could also snack on. It has a good standalone flavor. That one does taste a little bit like Rosa. Um, it's like spicy and peachy. And resinous. That's really good. Peachy, resinous, spicy. Yeah, I I love these. I've yet to try one that I haven't liked yet. <laughs> this is SD Maui. No way. That's first time trying it. Yeah. This first year we've had it. First time. First year we've tried it. So that explains the uh, the resinous because I've I've heard that it had a very like resinous flavor and towards the skin I picked up on it, but it was like peachy. It was really good. Let's see if I can do this without dropping it. Oh, wow. It's very smooth. It's very rich. It tastes almost a little bit like a peach, which is sort of funny to me. It's the closest thing I can relate it to, but much, much sweeter. And there's a there's a lot of citrus in it too. So yeah, some somewhere between peach and orange is what I'm getting. It's really good. <laughs> that was S T Bowie. All right. First year to have fruit for S T Bowie for us. That's delicious. I I taste a hint, just a hint of cherry in that flavor. Oh yeah. Because I was surprised I wasn't looking for the cherry flavor. I'm like, that flavor. Yeah, there's something very stone fruity about it. Like there's that kind of I don't know. It's nice. Wow. There's a lot going on in that. Thank you very much. So this one seems like it's not as juicy. It's very light flesh. Um, looks like it's a little darker around around the seed. Mm. Okay, you wanted one that I don't like? I <laughs> know. I don't care for this. <laughs> to me, it tastes just kind of lemony, underripe, kind of piney. I mean, if I was on an island, I'd eat it. I would say this one emphasizes the characteristics that I don't care for in a mango. It's not bad. I could definitely see it appealing to other people, but it is piney and it combines pine with lemon <laughs> or, or, or citrus, like lemony citrus. And that isn't my jam. Let's just put it that way. So, yeah, that one, it did seem to kind of clean my teeth off and dry my mouth out a little, though. Maybe just a tiny bit of chalkiness. <laughs> Another unusual flavor. Really hard to describe. It's almost like... I'd want to say peach. A little peach flavor. This is nice. It's different from what I'm used to. 
tasting and um, I'll definitely have this again. Definitely have this again. What's this one called? So that was ST Maui. ST Maui. And this is our first year of having ST Maui fruit. Wow. So, uh, yeah, it seems like it's a nice fruit. It is a nice fruit. I would have it again. It has a peach flavor to it, in my opinion. Definitely have that again.